Hey everybody, thank you for stopping by. They call me Kane. It's a pleasure not being with you here. Today, we will be playing some Kona. What is Kona? Well, if you don't know what Kona is, Kona is an adventure video game developed by a Canadian studio called Parable and published by Raven's Court. Basically what Kona is, is Kona is going to be set in the 1970s. The game centers around Carl Faubert, I think is how I pronounce his name. And he's a private investigator who arrives at a snowy town in North du Quebec. God, I don't even know if I even uh, pronounced that correctly, but I hope I did. Um, he arrives at the snowy town and finds a place that's deserted with something that's lurking around. All right, so that's a little bit of a backstory. I use my cheat sheet, of course. Come on, I gotta use my cheat sheet. Um, so before we get into this, if you like these kinds of games, wow, I would say definitely consider about hitting that like button to let me know that you like these kinds of games subscribe for more Kona come on over to the channel for more content because we have a lot of different kinds of things going on right now we have a Walking Dead series so if you're interested in Walking Dead definitely check that out all right without further ado let's go ahead and jump into Kona oh okay so we got what six different files here i wonder why we, we get six different files is there going to be like different ways to finish the game different ways to play the game um i don't know this this game looks very interesting i'm very intrigued on it it's um currently 1999 on the xbox store i'm sure you can get it elsewhere but i'm right now playing it on um on xbox and I believe, yeah, we are actually playing it through the Game Pass on Xbox as well. So uh, if you have Game Pass and this game looks intriguing, you've never played it, go ahead and download it. All right, so it's October 1970 in Northern Quebec. Carl Fulbert sought information for a living. That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. Oh, William Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either. Take just a hit so of that ciggy. For hours on oh, phone. okay, don't throw it out. What but the? But that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. That's how wildfires start, my man. I'm sure that's not happening in Quebec, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. So we're rolling in the Chevrolet. Uh, yeah, can I turn that off for copyright reasons? Thank you very much. Uh, let's go ahead and go. Yeah, we'll just cross the tracks here. Not too bad, not too shabby. So when did this they game set up to meet release? The store. I wish I could His tell you business. that. Well, actually, I think it's been the a couple entire years. village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. It's been a couple years since this game's released, and uh, well, it has very good reviews. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I wanted to go ahead and give this a try here. Let's try not to drive too far out of our way here and like off the side of the road I've been playing a lot of snow runner on the side and uh, well I'm very cautious when it comes to driving now <laughs> all right what do we have here when the roads were bad muddy or snowed in it was customary around these parts to close them off but it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway all right the rest stop here um, well we left the car on for some reason. I don't know why we left the car on, but we did. This is a nice little pickup we got going on here. Um, so what do we have here? We have... Yeah. You asking me to pronounce that? You're out of your freaking mind. Hamilton never mentioned a road-blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? All right, so that we needed, like... however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. We need to break Still this lock. Soul in sight. There was no point in waiting any longer. Carl had to figure this one out by himself. Now, it seems like the narr narration. I wonder if Carl is talking in the third person. Like, <laughs> it's Carl talking about Carl. Uh, let's go ahead and open this. We need to find a way to break this lock. Telephone might do it. Hamilton, no doubt, knew who managed sound. the barrier. Carl wanted to give him a call. But that would have been too easy, though, as sure enough, the line was acting up. Okay, let's read the flyer here. What do we have? We have Maniston. Maniston? It will be good. Maniston? Uh, yes, that's it. 
Ah, here we go. Northern Quebec. Uh, province of Quebec. Basically, ooh, what is this? Our valuable minerals could travel the world and reach places as far as Dallas, Dallas, Texas. Get involved and invest now. Quebec's economic might will be awakened. Okay. Good, good, uh, good read. Oh, there's something on the back here. The county of Maniston and its people wish to see you very soon. So that is Maniston. Okay. All right, understood. I'm, I'm trying to like trying to keep this in a mental note of what's going on here. This looks like a map. Might be irrelevant, but uh, I like maps, so that's why I'm admiring it. So we need something to break open this lock over here so we can get through. Um, we do have a watchtower right here. This looks kind of spicy, doesn't it not? What's in here? We got some trash cans. One empty bottle. Fantastic. <laughs> Honestly, if I was in the situation, I probably would not pick up an empty bottle, but you know It uh, it's it's what the hell this is kind of creepy Moving on can we sprint in this oh we can't sprint fantastic fantastic Go ahead and gum up. Is that the actual flag? Emperor Duplessis in spite of his conservative agenda did a good job in colonizing the rural north, which helped to reestablish the region as an integral part of the province of Quebec. Oh the blue fleur de lise could be seen fluttering in the wind. Here and there, taunting Desley. the red Canadian flags on the other side of the province's boundaries. <laughs> okay, so we have a little bit of a crate here. Okay, nice. That's gonna help. Pliers. Um what are these? Matches? No, a fire starter. Two fire starters and some pliers. I mean, honestly, I probably would take, like, this whole uh, toolbox here and put it in the back of my truck. But I guess that's, uh, that's not an option. Let's go ahead and go downstairs. We will go to the lock break and break that lock. Um, fire starter kind of gives you an... Like, <laughs> I, I don't have, I've never seen any videos on this, but a fire starter, a couple of them, kind of gives me the idea of what we're going to need to be doing here soon. And, uh... It, it seems like it's, it's gonna get nasty. <laughs> it's gonna get nasty in some shape or form. What What is this? Okay, that's a rock. We've seen that. I don't know why we can't uh, pick that up, or I don't know why that rock is there, but let's go ahead and break this. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. All right, Hamilton is waiting for us, because I'm pretty sure we're Carl. Uh, but Hamilton's waiting for us in the general store, so let's go ahead and drive and uh, say hello to Hamilton. If I'm guessing, we're going to get to the general store, and Hamilton is not going to be there. Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very okay. heart of gentle, the northern gentle. forest. Not too far from here. All right. So that, that wasn't too bad. Okay. Was divided when it came let's to go ahead and listen to the narrator has to say. Some a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others, an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. Oh, oh slow down, those slow it. hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Those are freaky tree stumps. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses. But the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which uh -oh. gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. Hmm. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man himself. Oh, man. Hello? Carl? Carl? Are we dead? No shit. <laughs> Carl needed to get out of there. The cold what? and the pain required urgent care. Oh no. Oh, now it's a freaking blizzard. Carl. 
Kona. <laughs> okay. You have me sucked in. I'll, 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 I'll tell you that. You have me sucked in. You're sucking me right now, Kona. You're sucking me. Don't. Don't even. Don't rush to the comment section, please. Uh, deposit slash withdrawal items. Okay, so we have a few things in the top left here. We got, like, a health bar, a fire, which is probably, uh, uh, uh warp, and a brain or stomach? I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Deposit, pincher, fire starter, Polaroid film, matches, cigarettes, empty bottle, and pincher again. Um, do we have anything in the truck? Uh, we just have another fire starter. Okay, fantastic. So we have uh, places to to have our to have our stuff done <laughs> to, to drop our stuff off. Um, again, the green is a little confusing. I don't know if that's brain, it like our so mental cold. state, or what the Already deal is. Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Oh God. I mean, the first things first is like, hello, man. Like. The you, driver had taken off. Yeah, I bet. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Yeah, Carl no. needed help. Absolutely. Um, this man did not have insurance, therefore he is gone. It was a small locked box locked engraved box? with the letters WH. Carl thought about taking it. Nothing was to be left to chance. Isabel? Hello, Isabel. How are you? Such uh -oh. heart-wrenching Nordic poetry, that was. But Carl didn't care much about flowery language. Okay, photo on the backside. Isabel, you gave meaning to everything. When you disappeared, so did purity. I would defend purity against the winds, the tides against ice and blizzard. Thank you. And Carl doesn't like that, apparently. You don't like flowery stuff. All right, when under stress, Carl is less accurate and runs shorter distance. This okay. In the country, his last okay, so we know what the green thing is. It's a brain. It's stress. A it's a mental state. His life depended on it. That might be uh, what the cigarettes are for. Do we go right or do we go straight? Honestly, we go right because I think I. Th this makes me nervous. The tree. Yeah, I was about to say. I think I see something over here, and I did. This is probably where we can warm up a little bit and get our mental state going here. Heat source prevent Carl from freezing to death. To, oh, and saves the game. Okay, fantastic. Get inside. Shut the door. Oh my god. Alright. <clears throat> Turn on. Does that give off heat or does that just give us uh, a, a light? More fire starter. What is that? Matches? More matches. What is this? Even better Chains. than he had hoped, Carl Faubert had succeeded once more, and was now on his way to new adventures. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. All right. Um, anything else that we can get? It doesn't seem like it. Ah. One thing I want to check out, if possible, map options. Is there a... Uh... Ah, there is. Thank God. There is a field of view. We're going to crank that bad boy up. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, so games that have like the option to do FOV, <laughs> you get me going, baby. All right, so here we go. Start the fire. Don't ever pull that out again. Um, how do we start this? I think I have a map. No. Carl, ever diligent in his work, always carried his log on him. Okay, we don't. We, no, 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 no. We don't need the log, log right the now. Of its oh, we need wood. Okay, so we need to get some wood. All right. Um, that's concerning. I'll be real with you. That's concerning. We're, oh, wood. Never mind. Not concerning at all. We have we have some wood. All right. Great job. The cold was burning Carl. I, he would I, not hold up much longer. He had to warm himself. I got it. I got it. I got it. He's warming himself. Good. Our mental state's going up. Our warmth is even going higher. Ah, uh, this is what Carl needed. This is what Carl needed. All right, Carl should feel better now. Ooh, what is this? Oh, some chains or chains? <laughs> Change. All right. So now that we are basically. Um, 
warmed up, the game saves. Fantastic. We can go check out this watchtower out here, please. I'll be real with you. If there's any jump scaring in this game, I will be upset. Oh, so we can start a fire outside as well. Okay. That's interesting. I would want to know why you would want to start a fire outside. Now, can we see our mental state when we're... Okay, we can by pressing start. Alright, so we can at least see our mental state at any given time or our you know our fatigue and the or the health and the and the food and the and the end up so let's go ahead and take a look around see what we can see you know i'm guessing that's a pond <laughs> so far I, I i think so far so good i mean now that we've gotten what we need to do over here there is a boat I don't think the boats gonna be doing anything or doing anything good for us so I think we go back onto the road and uh, we go back to the fork in the what in the world yeah we go back to the fork in the road again I don't know why you would want to start a fire out here I don't know let's go inside let's warm up just real quick I mean, honestly, we could pop a sig, right? Can we do that? I know we can. Uh, let me just get used to the menu here. Okay, this is this this is a flashlight. Um, our, yeah, consumables. Let's go ahead and uh, use Carl, a cigarette. Like many of his contemporaries, felt like he had more trouble breathing when he wasn't smoking. Cigarette was his own personal breathing assistant. Did I just? Did I just throw that cigarette next to a propane tank? Let's get the hell out of here. Alright, so when we smoke a cigarette... <laughs> our health goes down. Complaining was Obvious. not in Carl's nature. It would take more than light injuries to interrupt his investigation. I'm glad Carl is such a strong and uh, fierce leader here. Let's go down this way. This is our fork. So back there is where we, you know got yeeted off the highway I would say we can sprint so let's go ahead and sprint oh maybe not okay well we can sprint but uh, maybe we don't go that way oh we have chain so maybe we do something with the chain maybe let's come back up here and see what there is Carl is in bad shape. He needs to heal his wounds and warm up his body before any further. Before any further. Okay, okay. Withdraw. Fire starter. You know what? We might as well just take it for right now. Could we go into the trunk of this car? Probably not, right? No. Okay, so... Wait a sec. You almost had me, game. You almost had me. All right. So now that we have that, I don't think we need to run all the way back to warm up again. We're pretty much warm as it is. Let's go ahead and use the first aid kit. Bam. Great. Unless they want our first aid and our uh, our warmth both maxed out. In that case, let's go ahead and run back to the cabin here. Hopefully our fire's still going. It is still going. Fantastic. All right. There we go. So our health and warmth should be all the way up. Um, in that case, now we might be able to touch bases when it comes to the yeah, when it comes to the vehicle. You know, I'm thinking here. Is there like I know there's the pond, but if there's a pond we can't get to quite yet. Let's actually go ahead and take a log. We didn't see really what's over here. It's kind of just a roundabout, right? For the most part, yes. Okay. With that being said, let's let's again head back to the to the to the vehicle here. <clears throat> okay, the car is stuck in the snow gap. It will not move without help. All right. Let's go ahead and deposit a wood log. I feel like a wood log would be helpful. 
in the future. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Can we at least like turn the vehicle off? Like that should be an option. So again, one more option is go down here. Okay, all right. So I think I, I'm seeing what we need to do. The fireplace outside, we might have to lit, light, lit? It might have to light, because when we light that, it might melt something around. I don't know, but we're gonna give that a try. Let's see if we can pick up another log here since we deposited the other log. Let's give this a try. Let's see what happens when, when this, you know, goes. Boom. All right. So nothing is uh, melting at all. Can we crouch? Oh my god, no. Okay, so why? That's that's good to know. So why there <laughs> is quick access. Let's look at our equipment here. We have a camera, we have a map. Oh, yeah, let's look at the map. Oh my god. We're, it, I don't know if you can see it, but we're like at the very bottom, I think. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, I guess we look around more. Because right here is the pond. And uh, da, 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 da. we could go back into the watchtower and see if there there's going to be an advancement in, the, in like a checkpoint after we warmed up and uh, healed ourselves. Doesn't look like it. Interesting. Okay. All right. So the only other thing that I can think about is if it has to do with the vehicle. I'm trying to. Oh, hello. Okay, yeah, so we do have chains. I was about to say, we did pick up chains from the, um, from the cabin there, so maybe this will work. We have one chain. Alright, so let's see if that works. Oh, look, the log is in the truck. How neat. How about this? Okay. Okay. Put this bitch in reverse. Okay, one chain seemed to do the deed, I guess. <laughs> All right, windshield wipers are on. Should we turn on the radio? No, absolutely not. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get the hell out of here. I can't see. I am hauling. I cannot see. I am terrified. There's another vehicle coming. I, I, we're dead. I'll just say it. We're, we are dead. We are going so fast. Let's use the brake, please. I can't tell if I'm going downhill or if I'm like going on a straight road. We have no rear, rear view mirror apparently. <laughs> okay. Probably pay attention to the road here. Oh, what do we have here? Spread out on okay, it's the region. Of Manistan forest, region. Oh, look at that. Caribou, everlasting snow and undefiled lakes. The Manistan region. Manistan. No Manistan. Snow. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. So, one thing I think is really cool is, if you look at the bottom here, his foot moves when you hit the brakes and when you hit the accelerator. That's so cool. Okay, 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 a little, little frame there, a little frame, it's, it, we're fine, we're fine. We're just loading in. We're just quickly going through this really fast. Is there any way I can, uh, yeah, check the map, please? We gotta be going to the general store. Oh god, please don't do that. I the map is so tiny. Oh my god. I think we're going the right way. Okay, so as long as we're going the right way, everything should be fine and dandy. Running on. Uh, let's. Good thing that the Put general that store away. is close by. Okay, good. General store is close by. However, we are just hauling it. Uh oh. Carl? Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. They probably had to load it up this cutscene here. Oh, there's a truck right there, too. Let's see. Ah, yes, the general store where we need to get some fuel. Hamilton should be here, right? All 
All right, general store. So, I mean, first things first, right? The pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. Okay. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. Okay. What's in the box? A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Okay. A milkman had oh, to oh. drive by every week sure. to fill the bottles. <laughs> I wanted to shut the lid, the fresh my man. milk indicated a recent visit. And, ooh. We don't have a key to unlock that. Something fell to the bottom of the box. Okay. Let's take a look in here. Little. I'll be real with you. A little creepy. Little creepy. Ha! Oh my god. Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. <laughs> but only oh a detective God. could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. And the creepy music to go with it? I, I, I kind of jumped there. Like, I'm looking at this and then, like, my neighbor next door turns on his truck that shakes my entire house and it just... I'm shook. Hey, take out the camera, please. Oh, God, look at that. Nice looking camera. Uh, send it? Polaroid? Yeah. We're, we're, we'll keep that. Uh, let's put away that. Take a picture needed for the investigation. And she was unlocked. Uh, this place is a mess. Wow, look at that map. That's a big map. I don't want to step on you. I just stepped on you. Okay. Um, uh, sure. <laughs> um, mysterious unbranded cans. Ah, oh, these up here. Yo, you know, I'm gonna just take it on a limb here. This stuff, cannibalism. I could be so wrong. Ah! An explosion suddenly occurred outside. Hide. Hide. What is this? Close it. In the dark, it's, it is recommended to use a flashlight or lantern. Why is that recommended? Is it just because it's dark? Duct tape. Duct tape, very handy. Even in Survivor. Customer According credit. To that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. That's Carl terrible. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. I mean, that's not terrible. I mean, he's taking care of his community, so... A key. Okay, it's for the garage. Register. Uh, I used to work in retail. You're telling me it's none of those keys? I beg to freaking differ. What? Okay. What did I just do? <laughs> uh, post key. I used to I used to work in retail. We didn't use like a POS system or anything. We used to use an old fashioned register. Not that old, but probably a register you would find in the nineties more more than anything. Carl knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. Okay. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. Okay. You know what, Hamilton? I have a frog in my throat. And when people have a frog in their throat, they do not take risk by going... They don't take risk by going to work? Customers could catch it, right? I'm a wise man. Not to worry. I will have a nice doctor's notice, which I'm going out to get right now. 
Sadly, in the meantime, I will have to close down the shop. Unless you would like to come fill in for me, I wouldn't dare advise you. After all, you must have it. You must know how it's done since it's yours now. With kind regards, your dedicated manager, Giles. A frog in my throat. Let's turn on the pumps. Move the ladder. Yeah, first aid, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's turn the light on now. Let's, uh, no, 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 no. We will not turn on the freaky, uh, carnival music. You know, that, that's not what we do. Um, you know, I'll, 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 please. Okay. I'll be the first to say it. A broken clock. How convenient. Um, I'll be the first to say it. I'm, I'm creeped out. Yeah. I, I get scared easily. And. Did he move? No. I get creeped out easily and, um. A radiator without power is as good as a wood stove without logs. Right, okay. Um, there's going to be jump scares, probably. You're going to see it, and it's going to happen, and it's going to hurt. <laughs> it's going to hurt my soul. No thanks. I ate too many of those in Korea. What were they, like MREs or something, or beef? I don't know what that was all about. Fire starters? I love to see it. What is this? Amateur hunters showing some pride in having killed a nice pelted beast. Okay. With men like this roaming the area, wolves would become extinct within 10 years, Carl thought. Okay. What is this, mailbox? The general store also serves as a post office for the locals. Fantastic. A secretary wouldn't be luxury here. Let's see what this note says here. Um, cash register instructions to open the cash register. Push, punch the price, two numbers minimum, press sale, turn the crank two times, punch. Dude, I did that without the instructions. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Read a flyer. I think this is the flyer we already know. Bondike bar? This is a different one, um, but I'm not going to go through the entire brochure. And then, oh, is this the power? Electricity turned off. Okay. Okay. Open that up. Better fuse. Okay. Oh, here we go. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the bottom one is the garage. Let's turn that off. Pop it. Okay, maybe that's an eventual moment when we find out what the- Oh my god, there's wolves. Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? <laughs> Carl was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. Okay. So, it, we need some pliers, it looks like. Not the big ones, not the like bolt cutters, but we actually need like wire pliers. I think that's what it is. Um, and I'm assuming that's in the garage here. The game wants us to go over here. Hey, here we go. Let's get a fire started, shall we? There we go. Fantastic. All right. We didn't really need the heat, but I'm glad we have it. Open this up. Nothing. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so here we are. This is the garage. We have the key for it. We're on the light. Very nice looking car so far. Everything seems okay. What is this? The clean the cleanest spot in the area. <laughs> Open up the drawer. Open up the safe. Got a lot of say. Ooh. There we go, pliers. I feel like I should not have my back towards whatever is possibly behind me. Okay, we're okay. Wow, a lot of milk. A lot of milk. And what is this? Fragile stuff. At least we know it's fragile. No kidding. 
<laughs> no freaking kidding. All right. I think we are set. I think we're okay, right? Yeah. We have the plier cutters, or, you know, the wire cutters. I think they're wire cutters, maybe. Could be saying I'm wrong. Plier cutters. I don't know. Let's go ahead and go ahead, go ahead and fix the uh, generator. Let's head on back. To here and yeah fix it boom I see we fixed that all right so now we should be able to turn it light first okay now again the dead body in in the general store is kind of freaking me out a little bit we should be able to turn on the generator here in the um, whoops did I turn that off or did I turn that on Turn on. Okay, so turn on, turn off, and then let's go ahead and send it. Maybe? Ah. Okay, so it's on generator. There we go. It's not on the main circuit. I see. Okay. I should know this. Every time my power goes out, I have to use the generator. Which is, you know, it's, 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 it's a hassle sometimes. Sorry, so let's turn that off here. So, I think maybe the the, the gas pump. Um, so gross. I should probably pick up that thing next to his dead body. And I will. Um, I think, why do we leave the truck on? Jesus. Let's go ahead and uh, fill up real quick. The pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. I, In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. I did switch them on. I thought I did, at least. Let's go back inside and switch them on. Okay, there's the green light. Okay, so it might have just tripped because of... Uh, oh, God. It might have tripped for the since the power was out, so that's okay. Let's go ahead and fill up, and then we'll pick up the brochure uh, next to the dead body and um, be on our way. Yeah, I can hear the gas now. Let's go ahead and fill this up. Please, nothing happened to us. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Good. Carl knew straight away where to find the infuriated Gilles Lachance. Any good investigation would have to start there. Let's go ahead and look at this uh, brochure this man has. Documents. Okay. <clears throat> what Torn envelope. What inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. Canadian Secret Service? Mr. John Vaugh, Montreal. Oh, that's it. We just got an address, I think that's what it was. We can't do anything else, right? Carl felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? Okay, so what I want to try to do real quick also is I want to try to do turn off the store and turn on the garage. Let's see what happens when that happens. Let's make sure we don't get bit here. Okay, so the garage. Ah, the garage light. Yeah. Ah, oh, crowbar. The crowbar was stuck under the lift. Oh, no. Notwithstanding Carl's imposing stature, car lifting wasn't part of his skill set yet. Does the is the car lift elect? Yeah, it is. It is. It it is. Look at wires goes up. Right there. Okay, cool, cool. So let's lift the car. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this crowbar because I know it will come in handy. At yeah. long last, the crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Surely it would come in handy at some point. Okay. I'm not sure what we do with the crowbar quite yet. Um, but yeah, I think everything should be okay. But that's going to do it for today, today's episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did and you guys want to see more Kona, make sure to hit that thumbs up and also subscribe for more Kona. Uh, this game so far has got me drawn in, and I'm really liking it, and I hope you guys are too. Thank you, and I will see you in the next one.